See in the first question, in how many ways five boys and five girls be seated in a row if no restriction is there? You see here 10 students are there and that can be seated in a row in 10 factorial ways. How this is coming 10 factorial? Because it is 10 P 10. If you just calculate this, this will come out to be 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 10 factorial that is 0 factorial. So actually it is 10 factorial. So no restriction is there. We have to just arrange the total number of things in the total number of resources available. 10 seats are there. We are 10 students to be seated. That is 10 factorial. Very simple. Now the restriction arises. All the girls are together. This is very particular case. We just name the method of solving such type of problem as string method. What we do? We just take all the girls as one unit G1, G2, G3, G4, G5. Five girls as one unit. I just say that they have been kept in the bag. Okay. So five girls in the bag and the five boys are there around B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. See now how many items are there to be arranged. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how to calculate how many items are left? The rest items plus one unit of combined together. So this is five plus one. So six items are there that can be arranged in very simple six factorial ways. You can find but inside the bags girls can be arranged among themselves. Five girls are there, so five girls can be arranged among themselves in five factorial ways. So these are the ways where all the girls are together. So whenever you have to deal with such type of problem, you combine the things which are always together in a bag and take the rest things, add the bag as one item, take the total items, arrange them and now arrange the items in the bag also. So this is clear. The third question is that no two girls together. That is also important type. We know uh, we tell this type of problem as gap up method. How? Because there is no restriction for the boys. Firstly, we will be concerned about boys. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Five boys are there. No restriction about the boys. So boys can be arranged in five factorial ways, not a problem at all. Now see, we don't have to keep two girls together. So see how many places are there for the girls to be seated so that they are not together. See here, they can be seated here, 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 here and here. Six places are there where the girls will be seated, then no girls will come adjacent to each other. So six places are there where we have to see five girls. That can be done in six P five. Okay. If you don't want to use the permutation, you can just write five factorial for boys and girls. See how can we just see the girls? Six places are there and we have to see five girls at the places. So the first girl can be seated in six ways, second girl in five ways, third girl in four ways and second girl in three ways and the first girl in two ways. So actually if you are not using the term permutation you can just apply the basic fundamental principle of counting that six options are there where we have to make the five girls to sit. So this, these are the ways we can do. So I think this is clear. No two girls together. Just follow gap up method. Sit where no restriction is there. Just apply that permutation there. And now find how many gaps are created in between. So it, it is a rule that if five things are there, six gaps will be there in a row. 10 things are there, 11 gaps will be there in a row. But in circular permutation, we will see that one gap will be lesser. That we will see later on. Okay.
Now see, two particular girls are always together. That means two girls. Suppose G1 and G2, they just insist that they will be sitting all the time together. So what we will be doing? We will be keeping them in a bag. String method. Two girls in the bag. How many items now left over? Two girls have been taken. Ten students were there. Eight students are there. Now eight plus one bag. That can be arranged in nine things. Nine factorial ways. Okay. Now these two girls can be seated. They can change their positions. Here or there in two things in two factorial ways. So two uh, particular girls are together is very much clear. That was question number four. And see two particular girls are never together. This is a technique for never together. Never together means never together. Firstly, we have to see what is the meaning of never together. Never together means total number of ways. Minus together ways, ways were together. So these two particular girls are never together. Total number of ways without restriction we have seen is 10 factorial. And two particular girls are together. We have found in part number four as nine factorial into 2 factorial. So it is coming out to be 9 factorial into 2 factorial. So this is total number. So never together is always you find total number of ways minus the number of ways in which they are together. This is clear never together. Together is clear and gap up method is also clear to you. So no two boys together. No two letters are together. No two things are together. You just follow gap up method you will find your problem uh, in a very convenient way and you can solve it very easily. Hope this uh, restricted, restricted competition is very much clear to you. Thank you.